Hey, it's Michael, and uh, today I'm reviewing insulated water bottles for particularly cycling. Uh, this is the Camelback Podium Chill, which has been around quite a few years. This is the bottle that I've been using on my bike, and um, honestly, it works great. It really does an effective job at keeping my drinking water cooler during my bike rides than using a typical non-insulated bottle like this one. Um, plus, if you add a couple ice cubes in there as well, you can easily go an hour or maybe even up to two hours and expect a nice cooler drink with this bottle. Uh, the main thing I dislike about the Podium Chill bottle is the way that the locking mechanism works for uh, making sure this doesn't leak if it's in your backpack or something before you actually attach it to your bike. It's not a one-handed operation to unlock this. It's very stiff to turn and basically I hate it. But what I do also like about this bottle is the jet valve. Uh, all you have to do is tip it up to your mouth, give it a good squeeze, and you get a good blast of water. Very, uh, very nice. I do like that quite a bit. However, I learned about the Polar bottle, uh, the breakaway bottle. It's also insulated. It looks very similar uh, as far as the insulation material. And, uh, but I actually prefer the spout on this for a number of reasons. It's one-handed operation or no-hand operation because you can pull it out with your teeth to unlock it. And uh, it also has that jet valve type of design. So a good squeeze and you get a good blast of water. So for that matter, um, that is why I am now preferring this bottle over the Camelback. Plus, this one is made in USA, which is a big point for me. Uh, its capacity is comparable. Uh, I want to say it's 20 ounces, but I'm not positive. But they have two sizes. Yeah, this is 20 ounces. Uh, I think they make a 16 ounce version of this, so it's a little bit shorter. This fits in my bike really well, and uh, I just think it's a great bottle, and it works actually better than the Camelback. How do I know that? Follow me outside. So here I am outside. The ambient temperature is 73.2 in the shade. So basically they're both 69.4 degrees, both bottles. So let's get it into the sun and it's 317 in the afternoon. I'm going to give it an hour and we'll see what happens. Just about an hour outside temperature uh, in the shade is 79.5 roughly. Alrighty, I shook the bottles before I took the caps off just to uh, make sure the water temperature was fairly consistent inside. And uh, again, here's our ambient temperature. Now that I'm in a different location is, well, let's just call it 80 degrees. All right, this is the non-insulated bottle. And that has basically reached the ambient temperature outside. And here is the Camelback Chill bottle. reading 80.4 and here is the polar bottle 79.5 79.7 and 82 degrees outside so the winner is the polar bottle how about that so the bottom line for me is that the Polar Breakaway Bottle, for me, I love this. I prefer it to the Camelback. I still use the Camelback simply because I like to rotate through my water bottles. Uh, but uh, let me give you a couple of tips. Do not wash these in the dishwasher. Um, not so much because they might get damaged, but mostly because I have noticed uh, in my older bottles that I have now thrown away because I couldn't get rid of the soap taste, is that for some reason or another, whatever material, whatever the plastic is that this is made out of, um, it, it holds on to that soap taste. So I actually hand wash these bottles now so I don't put them in the dishwasher ever. And I have noticed that the water does not acquire uh, any sort of a, a bad taste to it because of that fact that uh, previously when I was putting it in the dishwasher that it was holding on to that soapy taste for some reason. So that's it. I really like this Polar 
breakaway bottle made in the USA really is effective uh, in my test that you just saw uh, you know there was only a couple of degrees difference but that's because it basically started off at a warmer temperature normally I would put a few ice cubes in this and uh, where I live cold water isn't really cold in the summertime anyway so I can't I can't start off with cold water very easily unless I do put some ice cubes in it but after the end of a couple hour ride compared to a non-insulated bottle this is like a breath of fresh air it is amazingly uh, great to get a nice cold blast of water instead of drinking whatever temperature water you happen to be biking in and if you're on a two hour or longer ride your water is going to be whatever the temperature is outside in my case in the summertime that could be a hundred degrees so this is the way to go guys Hey, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you found this useful. Make sure to click on notifications if you want to get notified as soon as I upload a new review. And we'll catch you next time.